Okay, this is uh, really a trial and error today. Put a casserole dish and my Carolina chicken rice mix thing. And I'm going to pour the rice mix bottom there. Okay? Calls for one and two thirds cups of water. I'll put one and two thirds cups of water. Okay, so there's my water for my rice, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I know that's gonna cook on the bottom of the, of the uh, mixture I'm putting in here. Okay, stir it in so it gets in there. Okay, then I think I'm gonna put chicken pieces in here. I have some chicken thawed. Um, I'm just going to cut it up in a piece. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. Cutting the pieces of chicken up. I used to want to use a knife, but I just don't want to. You can use these whenever you want to, scissors. These are actually, I, I, this is frozen, so I just threw it in the microwave, and that's why it's kind of half cooked. So I'll put the chicken right in here. Uh, these are chicken breasts, or chicken tenders, whatever you want to use. I'm going to put them probably about a pound, pound and a half. Boy, that was quick and easy doing them this way, huh? With, this, with the shears. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today's a lazy day. I haven't been on in a while because I've just been so busy. Jeez, I don't know. Okay. So there's our chicken and our rice sitting there. Okay. Let's put some... Uh... Oh, let's put some onion in there. We know onion's always good. Okay. Just a little bit of diced onion, onion, not too much. Just a little diced onion. Maybe one slice like that, because I do love onion. You can throw some garlic in there if you want. I don't think I am, though. Okay. Now, let's put a layer of provolone cheese. Uh, provolone cheese. Sure, maybe four or five slices like that. Okay, we're gonna put some uh, broccoli. Good old broccoli. Cut the broccoli up, clean it, put it in little pieces on there. Okay. Little florets. Yeah, some more. Love broccoli. Broccoli's wonderful. Okay. We can cut some of this stuff up too. This is good stuff. This is the core. This is fine. Hate to waste it. It's very good for you. Tastes wonderful. Okay. I think that's enough for now. Nah, a little bit more broccoli. Love broccoli. Got a whole big bag of broccoli here too. This time of year in the fall, broccoli's coming in on Maine, and it's beautiful broccoli from Maine. Very healthy for you. So we'll get some 
few more florets here of the main broccoli. A few more pieces. Can never have enough broccoli. Okay. I'm going to be cooking this at 350 for probably an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Okay, now that looks pretty good, huh? Okay, now, we gotta have some kind of a sauce on there, right? Okay, well I dug this out of the cupboard. I don't know about this, but it says, Best Buy 12.02.2012. What year is it today, Bruce? 2016? So this is a four years old. It should be okay. Popped good. Smells good. It is a uh, Alfredo sauce. You can make your own, but I could use this instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this jar of Alfredo sauce right on top of this bra. Oh, let's put a little bit more provolone cheese. A couple more pieces of provolone cheese. There we go. I use it up. There we go. Okay. And we put this stuff on the top here. And then we're gonna wash out the jar with a little bit of water. And get all that old stuff out of there. And we pour that in there just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese on the top of it. Why? Because I have mozzarella cheese left in the refrigerator. Only reason. If I had cheddar, I put cheddar on it. But I don't see any green in there, so I guess it's still okay. Now we'll put the top of the cheddar on cheese on. Sure, I dumped the whole thing. Okay. This is called using what you got in your refrigerator for your cupboards. Okay, let's spread that out a little bit. There we go. Looking pretty good. Does that look pretty good? That looks pretty good. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna put it in the oven for 354, an hour and a half. Let's see what happens. That's it. Okay, now that looks pretty good, huh? Okay, now, we gotta have some kind of a sauce on there, right? Okay, well I dug this out of the cupboard. I don't know about this, but it says, Best Buy. 12.02.2012. What year is it today, Bruce? 2016? So this is a four years old. It should be okay. Popped good. Smells good. It is a uh, Alfredo sauce. You could make your own, but I could use this instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this jar of Alfredo sauce right on top of this bra. Oh, let's put a little bit more provolone cheese. A couple more pieces of provolone cheese. There we go. I use it up. There we go. Okay. And we put this stuff on the top here. And then we're gonna wash out the jar with a little bit of water. And get all that old stuff out of there. And we pour that in there just like that. Okay, and then we're going to put some mozzarella cheese on the top of it. Why? Because I have mozzarella cheese left in the refrigerator. Only reason. If I had cheddar, I'd put cheddar on it. But I don't see any green in there, so I guess it's still okay. Now we'll put the top of the cheddar on cheese on it. Sure, I dumped the whole thing. Okay. called using what you got in your refrigerator for your cupboards. Okay, let's spread that out a little bit. There we go. Looking pretty good. Does that look pretty good? That looks pretty good. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to put it in the oven for 354, an hour and a half. Let's see what happens. Okay, 
It just came out of the oven and this is what it looks like. It's bubbling, there's the broccoli, there's the uh, cheese and looks pretty good. Yeah. Ah. And well, the rice cooked up, which is good sign. And there's the broccoli and the cheese. So, there's dinner.